and a half minutes to go in uh, the first half, and UCF uh, got things going and pushed their lead up and uh, had a comfortable victory. And head coach Donnie Jones joins us uh, right now. Win is a win. You take a lot of positives out of this. Uh, what would you like about your team tonight? Well, I liked how, uh, you know, we stayed in there. Give Alabama State, I knew they'd come out and play with some, some great toughness. They played very two difficult games, Mark, and uh, I knew they was going to come in here with a good focus. And our guys, I thought, kept the kept the focus good. And I thought, uh, especially the second half, we made a little run there late in the first half that gave us a little cushion. But I really liked our intensity defensively in the second half, which created some easier buckets for us in transition. You got off to a really quick start and then had a little bit of a funk. They got back and tied the game at 20. What happened that let them get back in? And then what your team? do at the end of the first half to stretch it up to 15. Well, you know, we were letting the ball get in the post too much. Uh, I thought we were really trying to guard the three-point line and not let them make threes. And, uh, you know, we were letting the ball come into the post instead of getting around it and keeping it from happening. But uh, uh, they had 14 first-half points in the paint of their 25 mark. And uh, we did a better job in the second half of taking that away and, and, and pressuring a little bit more on the perimeter. You've had great games out of uh, uh, Isaiah Sykes and Keith Clanton. A uh, uh, different matchup tonight than what you saw in Saturday, but what do you think about the performance of those guys? First with Keith. He didn't shoot the ball particularly well at USF tonight, 9 of 10 uh, from his floor game. Yeah, absolutely. I showed him film uh, before the game up in my office there of all the touches he had in the South Florida game to see himself you know, trying to do too much. And uh, he's going to draw a lot of attention uh, with his ability in there with a lot of double teams and people converging in there. And he just had to be patient and let it come to him. And tonight we opened up the floor a little bit more and he was able to drive it a couple times and we were able to flash him into the post where he didn't have so much traffic but he made some good passes out there as well mark and i thought he played a complete game another complete game out of isaiah sykes whether he was at the point or off the ball uh driving with confidence and uh, just getting better and better what'd you like about z tonight well i just liked his overall performance uh he had seven assists, one turnover, <clears throat> which is what we need from him at the point guard spot. Uh, you know, obviously those guys are going to have to log a lot of minutes tonight. They didn't play as many, but I uh, really liked the way he uh, ran our team and uh, he just missed her everything. I think he took uh, maybe two or three jump shots in the whole game like he did last game, and uh, but impacted our team in so many different ways. You got a chance to play some other guys uh, for some minutes tonight, and then I saw you went with a few different rotations and different looks. It's what you want to do in a game like this. In the final eight minutes or so, so, uh, again, what were you trying to do and what did you like what happened in the final eight minutes? Yeah, I wanted to try to play, uh, you know, a bigger lineup. You know, we went with Keith at the three there uh, when I brought him and Z back in. That's a big group. That's a big group. Yeah. That's a big group. And uh, I could have put Tristan at the two and, yeah. and Z at the one and Keith at the three. That would have been a pretty good pretty good group. Uh, but I wanted to play those young guys. Uh, you know, you can see the really high energy, athletic bouncy guys and play with uh, a lot of enthusiasm and and I thought uh, you know we had a chance to, to look at a bigger lineup there down the stretch. Daquan Walker uh, you know uh, came and played some minutes again for you tonight he had uh, five assists and four rebounds and I was talking with Taylor Younger on the broadcast and you know this quite well freshman at some point the shot will come but if you can distribute the ball play defense You'll get some minutes, and as he gets healthy, too, you can see that the skills are there for him. Yeah, he's definitely got the skills, Mark, and, you know, he's probably at 65% yeah. out there. He he doesn't have the, the gas to get by anybody, so he's just keeping it simple tonight. He got his momentum going a little bit, and the drilling was pumping for him, and he was able to make some plays. But, uh, but I'm, I'm really proud of him, and I thought he did a great job being a floor general. Your basketball team uh, gets the victory tonight, 85-56. Uh, another nice win after the game against USF. A couple of days off now, but I know these are important coaching days. You'll play a game on Sunday against Savannah State, but uh, we talk, uh, you know, once we get into the conference play, it's a little bit more difficult from a practice standpoint. So these next couple of days are important for your team, aren't they? No, they really are. This, you know, we'll take one day off here, Mark, because we've been going for a while. This is our fifth or sixth day in a row, dating back to uh, Saturday's game. So uh, let these guys get caught up on their academics a little bit, and then Thursday and Friday and Saturday, we'll have three good good days here to, to really work on the things from South Florida that we needed to improve on and, and the things from here tonight. So uh, we've been playing a lot of guys in different spots that they haven't played in as much, so it'll give us a good chance to, uh, to make some adjustments. Congrats tonight, Coach. Thanks, Mark. Donnie Jones coming by to share some thoughts. 85-56. We're going to talk with uh, Isaiah Sykes, who will slide over and chat with us. Is uh, Not a bad game himself, 23 points, 7 assists. Four rebounds, 10 of 14 from the floor as uh, UCF gets the 185 to uh, 56. A couple of good games uh, for you and this basketball team to start the season so far. Yeah, it's been a lot of good, a couple good games for us and the team. Uh, coming out of the game on Saturday, coming tonight in Alabama State's third game of a road trip, but yet you guys want to still work on things. What did you like 
As you look back at the game tonight, I'd say about uh, when you guys on the floor, a lot of different rotations and stuff. What did you like about the effort tonight? Uh, just different players playing different positions and uh, knowing where other players like the ball and uh, just executing down the stretch, like not just trying to break somebody down one pass shot. We really worked on executing and uh, getting other guys shots. Uh, for you, at the point guard, it's relatively new. You haven't played this thing for years back. At the same time, though, at least offensively, you guys are running. It doesn't necessarily have to be a pure point guard. you got a lot of guys moving on this offense here. Uh, but tell me what it's been like these first two games with you at top handling the basketball for a lot of the minutes. Uh, it's been real good. I have a pretty good feel for uh, the players you're running. Everybody's getting to know, like, the uh, full play and not just running halfway. So, And guys have been knocking down shots like Tristan Spurlock, Rod Day. We've been in the gym getting up shots and knocking it down. You got some new faces here. What's been the progress of some young players? Daquan Walker, not even healthy, but he's out there playing hard for you. And you see uh, what Stephon Blair's developed. What do you like about the new group of players here? I'm real proud of them. I like the uh, effort they give every day in practice and whether it's shooting around the game. The confidence that they have as them three to come out and uh, perform is just exciting for me, and I'm excited for their future. You are a guy that is never short on talents getting to the basket. You took a, about a 12-foot jump shot tonight. And you took it confidently. That's a shot that I think you would admit two years ago you weren't comfortable shooting. That's something I know you've worked on to add to your offensive game. Yeah, I've been working on that. Uh, I can knock down the shots and the three ball. But uh, tonight I just want to get other shots, get others involved, and, like, work on executing because I know we're not going to be able to run up and down on every team we play. It's gonna, sometime a point it's going to come to an execution. Uh, Coach said uh, day off now for you guys and uh, some practice and uh, back at it on uh, a Sunday. But after two games, you have to like uh, how you guys have played thus far. Uh, I like the way we play. Very unselfish. Everyone's touching the ball. No one's uh, – been having any problem everybody we got a great bond and team chemistry uh keith clanton drives throws it off the backboard to you, you guys working that a lot uh yeah we worked <laughs> on it uh, before the game he told me he was gonna uh because last game i threw him beyond the back pass that if he got it he was going to give it to me and uh he threw it off the glass so i just had to go get it do you kind of know that's coming i mean can you just tell we're gonna watch the replay I'm right in front of us and uh, there you are and there you are with the finish right there uh yeah uh we pretty much uh he was running he was like off the backboard z so you know i just had to go and finish the playoff do you do you owe him one now is the next have to be for him yeah i owe him one <laughs> <laughs> isaiah congrats appreciate it coming out Thank isaiah you. sykes uh, outstanding game tonight come back wrap up the broadcast in a moment now this from collins catering